Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Stuff Space. I'm Steph. Today I wanted to talk about Jamie French and Amberlynn Reed. So Jamie recently released a video on Facebook of all places talking about Amberlynn Reed and it set the goal world ablaze. So let's get into it. <laughs> so if you don't know Jamie French, she is a YouTuber and she's rolling up on around 750K subscribers. So like a pretty significant channel, almost a million subscribers. And she does various videos of like, I think she used to do makeup while watching movie reviews. Well, believe me, Brittany, thanks to my editing skills and lack of maturity, I can assure you that you will fart again by the time this video is over. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> And honestly, I love Jamie French. I think she's so funny. So I would classify Jamie as like a comedian of some sorts. Like, I don't know if stand up, but like she's pretty funny. Like I love watching her videos, especially the ones where she watches seemingly like all of the late 90s, early 2000s movies that we loved and are just super cringe. And she makes them absolutely hilarious. And um, other videos that um, she talks about current events and like what people are talking about on the internet. So, which brings us today to Jamie has been talking about Amberlynn Reed. So, sidebar about Jamie, she is also a plus size person like myself, and I think that has to come into play a little bit when she's talking about Amberlynn Reed in this video that I'm gonna talk about. And I think a lot of it is coming from a place of feeling defensive about being a plus size person and seeing people go after another plus size person maybe about the way they eat and stuff, especially if it's like surface level, which I'm assuming Jamie has seen of Amberlynn's stuff and maybe a little bit more. But I think it's coming from a place of seeing like another bigger person being attacked and feeling a little bit insecure about yourself because you're also a big person. So adding that in, I think it adds a little bit of context to this situation type deal. <laughs> who is Amberlynn Reed? Amberlynn is another YouTuber. She's been on the platform for probably over 10 years. She started on YouTube basically tracking her fitness journey. She was a plus size person, about probably like 300 pounds, maybe a little less than that. And she somehow during her time on YouTube ballooned up to over 500 pounds, pushing 600 pounds. And so... She's also the pinnacle of Girl World. So my understanding of Girl World, and let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about this, it's basically a community of people who watch Amberlynn Reed and Chantal and talk about what they're doing in their videos. And mostly because, not because these women are obese, it's because they do pretty reprehensible things. Like I haven't done a lot of videos on Chantal but I know there's a lot of channels that talk about Chantal, Foodie Beauty, and Amberlynn Reed. Like I watched Michael B. Petty, he's kind of funny. And Alex is Shook, he does a lot of deep dives on that. And then also Zachary Michael is another person that I've seen that does a lot on reacting to Girl World. And so check them out if you want to learn more about Girl World. But I'm keeping this kind of surface level for discussion's sake, I guess. <laughs> Today, I just want to focus on the what's going on with Jamie French and I guess Goal World. Like, Amber's not even involved in this. I don't know if Amber knows that. Jamie did a video on her. But Jamie has, like, three times the subscribers as Amberlynn, so maybe she'll find out eventually. So I found out that Jamie did a video on Amberlynn Reed because I was scrolling on my YouTube front page and I saw that Apathetic Facts did, a po like, a community post about it saying, prepare for another massive influx of Am Babies goals. And I think Am Babies are like Amberlynn Reed apologists, like people that maybe don't know her background or like know like the shitty things she's done in her past and like are like, oh, well, like that's not, I don't know. But like, are, I guess Amberlynn Reed apologists, I'm not quite sure <laughs> um, what Am Babies are. So they continue, Jamie French has decided to do a very poorly researched video on your goal. So seeing a lot of like people reacting to Amberlynn Reed and all this stuff, like I can see very poorly researched, like that might be warranted, you know, like she, it doesn't seem like Jamie did a deep dive. She's like really looking at Amber's surface level of like people just dislike her because she's a fat person eating food. It's like, 
from what I've seen of Amber, she like gaslights her audience. Like she, I did a video on Amber Lynn and like, I don't watch her videos except for like reaction channels. But like first time I actually watched one of her videos straight and I was like, I felt like I had a whiplash of like what this girl was saying and like gaslighting me. <laughs> but, and also like all the other things that she's done, like I just, it's, it's kind of terrible. Like I don't like watching that much negativity like that. That's how I found out about Jamie doing a video on Amberlynn Reed, which is funny because I'm subscribed to Jamie French. And I was looking on her YouTube channel. I was like, well, where's this YouTube video where she talks about Amberlynn Reed? And I thought she deleted it after like the backlash. But then I saw that it was just posted on Facebook and even Apathetic Facts posted on this community post that it's up on her Facebook page. I didn't see anything on her YouTube. And I they thought YouTube was like her main spot, but interesting that it's like not across platforms because usually creators will like post a video on all of their platforms, but interesting choice. <laughs> so this is the video of Jamie talking about Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed is quite possibly like the most bullied person I have ever seen in the history of social media. Entire YouTube channels exist. Stopping that real quick, I think there are a lot of other people that are bullied on social media beyond Amber. I don't know how many people actually, like, besides Girl World, know about Amberlynn Reed. Um, I guess you could even say Eugenia Cooney is, like, bullied, too. So, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what Jamie have seen, has seen, but I digress. This just to like compile things she does, says, eats. People don't like how she spends her money. People don't like how she tries on clothes. People don't like how she pronounces words. Mukbangs, mukbangs, mukbangs. And mukbangs. Mukbangs? What was I saying? Mukbangs. We ordered sushi. I got some edamame, which I need to add some salt to. So I'm gonna use this Himalayan moment. Oh yeah, that's something people don't like is that she says moment a lot. It adds a little moment a little leopard moment weird thing to be upset about just this like crab mixture and i think that's something people probably got mad at from jamie i think it's like goal world and i don't want to speak for goal world this is just me as an observer of goal world i don't know who maybe who knows maybe i'm a part of goal world but it's kind of like when you dislike someone because they've been a shitty person then like stuff that like may not typically annoy you will annoy you so people are probably watching Amberlynn Reed having that distaste for her and latching onto things it's like oh my god that's so annoying where it's like if it's someone that you like you may like overlook that you know so but like I don't her mispronouncing words saying moment and all that stuff is like not why people dislike her sushi looks pretty normal looks pretty harmless these are like tempura crab and tofu you lost me at tofu and i like tofu <laughs> right now just a lot of people say that she cooks gross stuff and that she cooks slop so far this is all just takeout i got a mac and cheese which is like 450 calories counting that just reminded me of something i saw on instagram all places it was like I don't know if you've guys seen this video, but it was Amberlynn Reed. She got, I think, Panera, and she was looking through her order, and it's like, oh, they gave me the wrong stuff. I asked for an apple. They gave me two chips. And then it's like a dog, and it's like, like not believing. <laughs> I'll post it up here if I find it. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. I got the Mediterranean veggie sandwich. <gasps> oh, they gave me the wrong sandwich. Turkey with bacon and cheese. It says one Mediterranean veggie sandwich, no tomato. I'm really, really upset right now. But I just thought that was funny. And the her saying that she gets takeout all the time, like one true. Um, and then two, it made me think of that Panera video, which was kind of funny. Calories. It's just so inconvenient. I do it all the time, so I relate, but hearing somebody else do it, I'm like, stop. Just use your judgment. Currently, I just have it logged for 45 calories, but I have my empties for it. I had a cup of noodle, 
which is 290 calories. Oh. Love that. And I had a whole bag of these. See, and I know, I guarantee if I scroll down to these comments, people are probably roasting her for eating a whole bag of lentil chips, but I know people that could put away two bags of that. First comment says, I love sharing food, said the girl with the most food aggression I've ever witnessed in a human being. Oh yeah, there's like entire compilations of her people saying that she has food aggression. I don't even really know what that is. When I think of food aggression, I think of my dog who would like, if another dog walked by his food bowl. I've never witnessed her acting like that, but people are mad. All of these comments. Again, if you haven't seen her acting like that, doesn't necessarily mean that she hasn't. Like, it's like a huge community of people that, like, invest a lot of time into, like, watching her videos. And so I think, I don't think, like, a whole group of people just came together and was like, you know who we're going to hate? Amberlynn Reed. It's like, from at least what I've seen, a lot of things are warranted with it. But I just like watching it, like, from reactors, but I don't really dive deep into the Amberverse because, I don't know, I just, I don't want to watch it. I don't I don't know the reasoning. I just don't want to watch it. I, like, I, I more so like the personalities of, like, the people who react to her videos, if that makes sense. <laughs> are from people just like mocking her for saying she likes to share food gosh every single comment is negative and mean i love sandwiches the thing too and i learned this from michael b petty is a lot of people i think started out watching amber's videos and actually liking her and being on her side and really cheering on her weight loss journey but then she just like lies a lot gaslights her audience a lot trolls them a lot like a lot of her video thumbnails like she's like like a almost 600 500 pound person i'm not sure allegedly i don't know what the exact number is now but she'll post pictures of her like mukbanging and stuff and like people are like you said you were on a diet like 20 minutes ago and now you're doing this so she's just kind of fostered a bad environment with her YouTube audience. Like, I hope I'm fostering, like, a positive environment with you guys. Like, a previous video I did, I think, on Jordan Underwood, I, I said I feel mean when I do those videos, but I try not to be mean. Like, it's not productive to just, like, sh shame people, I guess. But, like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in Amber's comment section and stuff, but I understand why people are upset with her. Um, but I think that's where Jamie's just kind of seeing the surface level of like people just like really shitting on her, but she's like, doesn't seem like a great person. Not Jamie, uh, Amberlynn Reed. So I don't know where I'm going. That's, I'm kind of rambling. Trying to do if I go out to eat, um, ordering what I want, but not eating the whole thing. Normally I would. That's hard to do. By doing this, it makes it to where I don't eat as much. Especially that is hard to do, like, and I think I think this kind of goes back to what I said at the beginning. Jamie is also a plus-size person. It's very hard. It's hard to lose weight. It's like a mental game. You really have to be dedicated and change your whole lifestyle. Like, change kind of who you became as a person. It's very difficult to change. Like, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And I know it comes down very to a very easy formula, like consume less, move more, but it's, it's hard to break habits. And that's what I'm currently struggling with myself. And so I think Jamie has a lot of sympathy for Amberlynn Reed because she understands what it's like to be a bigger person and have, like, I don't know if Jamie has issues with food, but like how she said it's hard not to eat like a whole portion at a restaurant Especially, like, if you've made yourself accustomed to that, it's hard to, like, eat half of it. And then it's, like, your body's like, whoa, wait, like, I'm still hungry. And so I've started doing that if I go out to eat. I'm like, I'm going to have leftovers. It's also cost effective. It's like, ooh, I get two meal, two, three meals from this. So I think a lot of what where James is coming from is just kind of a sympath or empathizing with Amberlynn Reed. And really seeing the surface level stuff. And I just saw it right now. 
that the comments are shut off. I think that's what that means. The comments are shut off. Hidden comments and reactions. Oh, okay. That's sorry. The comments are not shut off. It says hidden comments and reactions. So people are probably like coming for her for almost defending Amberlynn and kind of looking at her with like, not admiration, but like, oh, you're my gal pal. And you know, like I, I understand you. And it's like, surface level watching these videos yeah i would say like why do people hate her but later on we'll look at a comment that jamie replied to pointing out why people dislike amberlynn reed and so then we'll see about that and i hate this because i love jamie but i understand where i think i don't know where she's coming from completely but i think it's coming from a place of like i'm a bigger person i'm also a bigger person so i'm not shitting on jamie But, like, I'm a bigger person, so I resonate with eating food and getting shit for it. And I think it's kind of defending herself. And I don't know. It's kind of like you want to protect your, not your own, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like you're trying to protect yourself by, like, protecting this other person that you see are being shitted on. But it's like, be careful of who you defend, I think, is the lesson here. Like, or maybe do a little bit more research before you're like, oh, why do people hate this person? Like, or why do people hate this person? So. With carbs, it's hard to do. It's making me hungry, geez. Whoever, like, made this compilation and referred to this as Amberlynn Reed's most iconic mukbangs, I don't agree. What is iconic about this? She's just, like, eating as a normal person would eat. This is, like, something that my... (laughs) sister probably eats on her daily basis and now let's read comments for my newest video which i know is gonna be harsh don't do it don't do it girl i have grown to have some tough skin let me i I think it comes from a place of jamie feels bad for her and like i said i think can resonate with being a bigger person but i think also i don't know if amberlynn reads shows everything that she eats in a day like, that's a lot of calories. And, like, honestly, that's the shit I used to eat. And I was ballooning up to, like, 300 pounds. But it wasn't, like, I mean, it was kind of rapidly, but, like, not that rapidly. And It's, like, if you're maintaining over 500 pounds, then you must be eating a lot of calories. So, I don't think that's everything that she eats in a day. I know that's not everything she eats in a day. I tell you, even tough skin sometimes is penetrable, and I just, the comments she gets are, they're so hurtful. They hurt me. They give me secondhand hurt. The last video I uploaded was the spaghetti mukbang. Oh, we just watched that. <laughs> that just went up today, a few hours ago. So, first comment I see is from Madison Mukbang, and she says, Stop it, get some help. Wait, as in the Stop It, Get Some Help meme from Michael Jordan that I use? Stop it. Get some help. I think this girl meant it in a mean way. It's just funny that I (laughs) I use that mean all the time. Someone quoted her saying, if you get olives, don't get mayonnaise because olives give you the kick you need. What the F does that even mean? Who cares? (laughs) Why why are you so angry? Gosh, you know what ticks me off? I feel like if Logan Paul said that in a video, people would be like, yes, Logan, we stan. We hate mayonnaise. I don't know if Logan, Logan Paul is not a good example of that. <laughs> I feel like Logan Paul gets his fair share of hate and like, also honestly warranted, like. <laughs> People will find anything to get mad at her. Her lack of chewing is what gets me. She chewed the way she ate that cheesy tot and went cross-eyed in excitement. That is the true definition of disturbing. <sighs> And isn't that funny, the Virgo 3866, that you don't have a profile picture? You guys are mean. Oh, (laughs) see, she's like, she's like defending Amberlynn Reed, which like, honestly, surface level, if you're watching someone just eat food and people are so mean in the comments without knowing their background, yeah, you would be like, why are people being so mean about this? But a lot of these commenters have been with Amber for a while and have been watching her videos and have seen like her different like what's it eras or something chapters and seen like how she's treated like her partners how she's talked about people how she's lied um neglecting her animals and all that stuff like 
not a great person. So I think, I don't know if Jamie knows all of that stuff, but that's why people are coming at her with such venom, you know? But I feel like if I started posting videos of me eating a copious amount of food, you guys would be like, nice about it. Like, obviously, but you'd be like, what are you doing? And then it's like, if I go on here and spout like, oh, I'm healthy doing this, doing this. And then I'm like, hey, guys, watch me do a mukbang. Like, that's so like, people are gonna like lose patience with you very quickly and stuff. Along with the shitty things that you've done in your life. I see someone who has an underlying condition. It could be physical, you know, but I think it is emotional slash mental. Even though somebody puts themselves on the internet, to me it doesn't mean that they're asking to just be relentlessly bullied and just keep in mind that everybody is the way they are because of one reason or another. I know that she has had a very, very rough childhood and a very traumatic past and oftentimes that can lead to people struggling with obesity. And ultimately comments like this and constant people making all this content about her is not helping her. I say the same thing to the people who harass me about my weight. You aren't making me skinny. You know what I mean? Be productive. So I think that's where people were like getting mad at Jamie that she's like defending Amber and stuff. Again, going back to what she said of like people's past kind of shape who they are like as a person when they're older, like, yes, that's true. But you can also, once you become an adult, choose to do good things or bad things. And so, yes, in the context of obesity, like, people who are bigger definitely are struggling with something. Um, as Even if you're, like, doing substances and stuff, you're struggling with something. But the thing that I think people in Amber's comments section is, they're just so sick of her shit that, like, anything annoys that, like, her or anything about her annoys them. And so it's, I don't, it's not, it's not because she's overweight that people are just, like, constantly shitting on her. It's, like, they've been with her throughout the years and they're just so sick of her shit that anything annoys them about, or anything about her annoys them. So I think that's where it's coming from. It's, I, it's, I don't believe it's because of her size. So... But I agree with Jamie to the sentiment, like, telling people, like, is not going to change them. But, like, honestly, Amber Berlin's not going to change. I, From what I've seen, she's never going to change. And it's really sad. Like, like try to be a better person. Like, it's a better life if you're you just lead with positivity and the truth and looking out for animals that you're caretaking for. That's a big one. I have I have four animals. I have two cats and two dogs and Manny and I take as well care of them as possible. We absolutely love those animals. Make sure they go to their vets, make sure they go out, like make sure all of their stuff is clean. So it's just like those they depend on us to take care of them and so that that's the big the one of the big things about Amber and Reed that bothered me along with a lot of other big ones was her lack of taking care of their, her animals. So here's another post from Apathetic Facts that I saw. It's someone commenting on her Facebook video about Amber Lynn, basically saying why people just can't take her shit. And so the person says it could be the false essay claims against her ex or the way she financially and verbally, all of her partners, maybe the way she lies and manipulates her audience, maybe the neglect of her pets. She is not a good person. The people's dislike of her has virtually nothing to do with her weight. Okay, so they're reiterating what I said a couple times throughout the video. Please do more research before you take a side. That's a fair comment. Like, we all have the right to give our opinions. This person, very nice. Like, just pointing it out. Like, she's not even coming for Jamie. She's just like, please, before you make a video, before you defend somebody, look more into it. And... Again, I said, if you really don't look into it, then you might just see a fat person online being bullied because they're eating. And I think it goes de it goes deeper than that with Amberlynn. And so then Jamie replies, so then Jamie replies, LOL, I've heard it all, but I don't personally believe we can really know someone because we see them make YouTube videos. Even if some of the accusations are true, nitpicking and berating someone for how they eat or how they pronounce words will not help them be a better person. I see the Amber versus side. Like, 
that seems like kind of a cop out for things. And like, I love Jamie, but it's just like, I know, I think Jamie tries to lead positively, you know, with her videos and stuff. What's basically happening, and I think why the Amberverse is getting so up in arms, it's Jamie is defending Amber and making all of the people in the Amberverse seem like the bad guys, when in reality, I think a lot of her audience were really positive, constructive people. When I watch Alex is Shook, I mean, Michael B. Petty could be real petty, but he's funny. Like, and he started out being like an Amber fan and he'll admit that. Um, but a lot of his stuff like is very constructive. It's just like, girl, you're just being silly. What are you doing? Giving advice. Like I remember him being like, her make salmon better. Like if you make your food taste better, then it'll be easier to eat healthier. I think the reason the Amberverse is getting upset is because it's kind of painting them with like a broad brush of like, you guys are just bad people by criticizing Amberlynn for every little thing she does without knowing the background. And like, I'm not, I don't go on Amberlynn's videos and comment. Like I really could care less about Amberlynn like that. But this is the people who comment on her videos have been along with her on the journey and the journey and seeing all the stuff she's done. And it's like, they have no respect for her. Whether you want to comment on people's videos and all that stuff, like, that's up to you. It's a free country. But yeah, I think I think Jamie just sees a larger person getting criticized on the internet seemingly a lot and kind of painting those people with a broad brush of saying that they're just bullying someone for just being big on the internet and mispronouncing words and... It's just the Amberverse is an audience of people who have been watching Amber and have been like manipulated. They've seen what she's done with previous partners, lies. I think Amber Lynn's audience, and I don't even think those comments were necessarily that mean. Like they were just like, it's, it's more the vibe that I'm getting from the comments on Amber's videos are like, oh, she's at it again, guys. Like, <laughs> as opposed to being like, saying really, really cruel things. I don't think I've ever seen people saying to like, unalive yourself. If anything, they're like, if you keep down this path, then that's what is going to be at the end of it. And so I think people are just very, just so tired of Amber's shit, you know, and it is what it is. That's all I had for today's video. I'm still gonna watch Jamie's content. I love her content. I think she's funny. I think she made a bad call with this, but we're all human. We all make mistakes. People are calling her out on it. She can decide whether to be receptive to that or not, but nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I I know you guys aren't perfect, but I still love you all for your imperfections. (laughs) But... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this situation. Do you watch Jamie French? Are you part of the Amberverse? (laughs) So yeah, let me know what you guys think. So like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. It really helps out my channel grow so I can pump out more content for you guys. I really like talking about what I see on the internet. You guys are my outlet to this because I don't really have anyone to talk to about what's going on in the internet. You guys are my only friends. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) But but no, I I do like talking to people who are aware of what's going on on the internet about this and getting your feedback and what you guys think about it because no one else in my life really knows about like this sphere of the internet. (laughs) So I really appreciate you guys. If you like and subscribe, that really helps out my channel. I'll link my Instagram somewhere on this screen if you guys want to add me and I'll add you back. If you're not a bot, I've noticed a lot of bots will add me and then say, hey, how you doing? It's like, mm. <laughs> So if you if you look like a actual person, I'll add you back. Send me any ideas that you guys have of like what you want me to react to. And I, I mean, I'm always on the lookout and making like a list of things that I want to react to, but I just need to execute those ideas. I I have a full-time job, so it's kind of difficult, but I do love making content for you guys and talking about this stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and let's keep pumping out positivity. You guys pump out so much positivity in my comment section. 
let's bring that into the world and keep positivity rolling. It's going to be a better world for all of us. So you guys are amazing. Thank you for spending your time, precious, precious time watching my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>